Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Teresa Perrin for those of you new to the channel and today I want to discuss with you Caboletta Bio, ticker C as in uh, Charlie, A as in Alpha, B as in Bravo, A as in Alpha. Guys, this is a play that I'm looking at for a long-term hold. Um, it could also be a swing play the way that I see it, but as many of you know, we are in a bear market. And guys, with the bear market comes lots of stocks that are potentially at great values. Kaba, I believe, is one of those stocks. And I believe that this has the potential to be an absolute banger in the future. And that's what I'm going to discuss with you today and why I think that it's a great time to start accumulating shares at these prices because it won't remain this cheap for long. All right, guys, let's get started. And please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. And again, this is not a play that you are going to make a ton of money on, you know, in one day. This is a play that I am looking at as an addition to your portfolio to build wealth. All right, let's get started. So Kaba, otherwise known as Caboletta Bio, is a clinical stage biotech company. It's focused on discovering and development of engineered T cell therapies for B cell mediated autoimmune diseases. The T cells are designed to selectively bind and eliminate B cells that produce disease causing autoantibodies or pathogenic B cells while sparing normal B cells. Um, the company has several candidates that include DSG3-CAART, which is evaluated for the treatment of mucosal pemphigus, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong, vulgaris, or MPV, a subtype of pemphigus vulgaris, PV, that affects epithelium of the mucous membranes. They have dsg 3 dash uh, three slash one dash C A A R T, which is designed for mucotaneous femagitis vulgaris (MCPV). They have musk dash C A A R T, which is designed for the treatment of muscle specific kinase or musk. And myasthenia gravis. Guys, myasthenia gravis is a very serious disease that I have personally dealt with firsthand as a registered nurse and something to help cure this would be phenomenal. Uh, PLA2R-CAART is developed to treat phospholipase A2 receptors, PLA2R associated membranous nef nephropathy. And they also have uh, FVIII-CAART, which is being designed to treat a subset of patients with hemophilia A. So, you know, to make this as simple as it can be, they have um, discovered antigens, let's say, that the T cell, that are T cell therapies for B cell mediated autoimmune diseases. So the T cells bind to these B cells that are uh, disease causing in the body and eliminate them guys. So I think that this is potentially huge. And I think that if they're able to prove this and are able to solve diseases with these developments, that this could be an absolutely huge huge company in the future. Now, I'm not the only one that feels this because IASO Biotherapeutics and Caboletta Bio Inc. license packed for CD19 buyer, by, uh, binder, excuse me. IASO Biotherapeutics granted a worldwide license to Caboletta Bio to develop, manufacture, and commercialize a clinically validated fully human CD19 binder designed to modify T cells for autoimmune diseases. IASO Bio is entitled to receive approximately $162 million in aggregate payments, including an upfront payment, potential milestone payments, and royalties. IASO Bio has the right of the first negotiation to develop and commercialize Caboletta's products using the license sequence in the greater China region. Caboletta Bio announced that Caba 201, a newly designed fully human CD19 chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, containing a 4-1 BB 
co-stimulatory domain. We have a sufficient cash runway that will allow us to advance CABA 201 in parallel with the Descartes and Muscartes trials, employing our Chimeric anti auto antibody receptor CAAR technology, said Stephen Neiberger, CEO and co founder of Cabaletta. The company anticipates an IND submission for CABA 201 in the first half of 2023 and pending FDA clearance of the IND initial clinical data by the first half of 2024. So, price action CABA shares were up 3.5% at 74 cents on the last check on Tuesday. Now guys, since they announced this at the beginning of the week, the share price has continued to rise as I would expect it to. This is actually very, very good news for this company. And I can show you that this is the history um, of what Kaba has done. Now, just on Friday alone, they were up 11 cents or 14.93%. And in the after hours were up 1.25%. Um, percent, which is why I think now is a great time to start getting into the stock because it's still under $1 and I don't expect it to last that way for long. In the past week, they're up 25.71%. But guys, in the past three months, they're down 41.33%. And in the past year, they're down 92.80%. So quite a significant decline. And guys, I don't think it's the company. I just think it's the overall market condition. And Bio has been hit one of the hardest. Bio and, um, you know, a lot of computer companies, unfortunately, um, you know, computer engineering, um, things that have to do with internet security and other such things, anything that's kind of uh, tech driven has just been beat down in bio and biotech. It's just been beat, beat down hard. And it hasn't just been this past year. It's been going on for like the last five years. And I think it's time for that reversal, which is another reason why I'm bringing this to your attention. Now, Kaba um, closed on Friday at 85 cents. Like I said, it was up 12.43% and it was up another three cents, guys, in the after hours. Uh, I believe it was three cents. Anyways, um, their normal average volume on three months is 1.4 million. Friday volume was low at 977.19 thousand. So they were still increasing on low volume, guys. The 52-week low was 59 cents. The 52-week high was $14.95, which you can see would be a huge increase from its current 80, let's just say 88 cents, okay? Quite significant. Um, their turnover is not high. It's only 3.37%. So people aren't, you know, selling this stock, guys. They buy it and they hold it. The free float is $27.76 million. And as you saw in the listing, they have plenty of cash on hand. Now, here's where things get interesting. They are given a buy rating by seven analysts. So guys, again, this isn't some crappy penny stock, even though it's trading at those levels. This has the potential to be an absolute banger. I really, really believe this or I wouldn't be talking about it. The low is $4. The average, um, this is the price target, so I'm sorry. Um, the low price target is $4, which is still over four times what we're currently trading at, over five times, really, or close to five times, right? Um, and an average of $9.67, which would be 10 times what we're currently trading at, and a high of $15, um, which would be over 15 times what we're currently trading at, guys. So there's a significant um, risk to reward ratio here. Um, which is why I think this is a great stock to keep an eye on and to start adding into your portfolio. I um, purchased a starter position on Friday. Please know that, you know, based on market conditions, this could always fall a little bit more before it continues to rise. I don't know for certain, but it certainly looks from technically like it's found its bottom and that it's starting to move to the upside now. And hopefully that trend will continue, which is another reason I'm bringing it to your attention. You know, even if you don't want to hold it to your um, portfolio long term, it may be a good short term swing play. So Kaba's short interest, guys, we're going to talk about in a second, but I just wanted to bring to your attention that yes, this 88 cents is where we ended in the after hours. Now, hopefully it'll come back down, hit that 85 so we don't create any gaps. The short interest is huge, which is why I think this could also be a potential short squeeze candidate. Look at this, 21.7% short interest and 8.19 days to cover. 
So, you know, there is a huge opportunity in Kaba to have a massive move up should people start taking note of this stock. Currently, there's still 150,000 shares available to short. And the cost to borrow is very cheap, 3.24%, which is why I said shorts can still fight this um, because they have ammo. But guys, if massive amounts of retail or, um, you know, corporations, big money starts stepping in, then this could be a potential squeeze candidate um, very, very quickly. Now, the short volume ratio had um, on Thursday reached a low of 28.30%. Um, that was its two week low. And on Friday was, you know, at its kind of, I would say average, if you set these out, would be in the 40s to 50s percent range, right? Of 51.45%. And the high, guys, is 59.74. So you can see there's a lot of shorting going on in this stock. Um, Currently, I can't wait to see what we have next week. There's not a whole lot of failure to delivers on the books. Check this out. The most we get comes due midweek. Um, actually, I think off the top of my head that this is Tuesday, but I had to go and do a T minus 35 to double check that because the number's not significant, guys. They have plenty to cover it at 12,234. Why I'm highlighting this is solely because I want to see when these new numbers come out this week, if if they're continued to failure to deliver a lot more shares or whether they were able to, you know, keep this on the low end. So anyways, guys, that's um, Kaba for you. And I highly recommend you do some DD. Hopefully this helped you get started and keep it on your radar because it has been going up since last week. And in a bloody market where you can find green, it's important to pay attention to. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.